The TESOL Umbrella Teaching English Around the World Would you like to teach English around the world? Let's get you ready for this lifetime adventure. Teaching English to speakers of other languages is the umbrella term for teaching English to non-native English speakers, divided into teaching English as a foreign language and teaching English as a second language. Students study English for specific purposes, academic or occupational. In English as a foreign language countries, people use the language for formal and business interactions. Rarely do they use English in a daily setting. The classroom is the venue to learn structured English, thus, students have fewer opportunities to use the language. Also, the country's mother tongue is the medium of instruction, which limits learning to English classes offered. On the other hand, in English as a second language countries, people use the language in conjunction with their mother tongue. English is the country's lingua franca or common language. People speak it at home, work, and social gatherings. Many children learn English before starting school, and English is the medium of instruction. To be fully prepared for TESOL practice, teachers undergo formal and non-formal education. Formal or academic studies include a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, a doctoral degree, and, if preferred, a postdoctoral degree. With a bachelor's degree in English, you can pursue many career options, be a teacher, writer, researcher, publisher, advertiser, lawyer, or public servant. It provides a solid foundation for understanding the English language's history and disciplines. Most importantly, it prepares students to communicate in English. After completing a bachelor's degree, earn a master's degree because an MA in English deepens comprehension and command of the language. Likewise, an MA in education with English major aid in developing effective teaching practices. When finished with an MA, continue with a doctorate degree. It is the highest educational qualification. There are a few PhD holders that are EFL teachers because EFL specializes in beginner to intermediate English. Those who complete the doctoral program become ESL teachers or EFL teacher trainers. For ESL instructors with a PhD, Postdoctoral programs are available for teaching or conducting research. Teachers improve their teaching skills, gain assistance from professors at different schools, and learn valuable knowledge useful for other fields. In the Philippines, education requires vertical articulation. For instance, a Bachelor of Arts major in the English language aligns with a Master of Arts in the English language and a PhD in English language. Consult an academic advisor to know the best career route. These educational credentials allow you to become a teacher, trainer, teaching supervisor, or manager. Non-formal training includes the certification that TESOL institutions require for aspiring teachers. These are TEFL, TESL, or TESOL Certificate. The TESOL Diploma. Certificate in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages. And Diploma in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages. Common teaching English certificates are TEFL, TESL, or TESOL. Companies use these terms interchangeably. Earn a 120-hour TESOL certificate rather than one for a TESL or TEFL if they are not explicitly required. It is equivalent to Level 3 in UK teaching qualification, preparing teachers to teach English abroad or online. Once more, TEFL and TESL are both under TESOL. It formally affirms your qualifications to work as a teacher in both EFL and ESL countries. If you want to pursue higher training, get a TESOL diploma. Although this program is longer and contains more courses, teachers may use it to improve their instruction and become eligible for a promotion. A TESOL certificate is the best choice for those who want to teach English overseas right away, whereas a TESOL diploma is best for those who wish to further their training in English language teaching. Take at least 168 hours of training to receive similar instruction. To Level 5 UK Teaching Qualification, a cheaper option for CELTA.
To advance your career, earn a certificate in teaching English to speakers of other languages from Trinity College London or Certificate in English Language Teaching to Adults, now known as Certificate in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages from Cambridge. Both lead to Level 5 certification, enabling their graduates to teach English internationally. They have the same syllabus, but they differ in assessment style. These courses are more costly than a TESOL certificate and diploma. They are the most widely recognized teaching English qualifications by private and public institutions, putting them at a level below a bachelor's degree. Of the two, CELT is more popular among employers because it carries the Cambridge brand. After Trinity Cert TESOL, take the Diploma in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages or take the Cambridge Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages after CELTA. They have four and three modules taken independently or all at once, in any order. They have level 7 qualifications on par with a master's degree. The training benefits those that want to work in administrative teaching roles, such as trainers, managers, and principals. Course providers of these non-formal training have different policies and requirements. Generally, they offer certifications that do not expire, are taken full-time, part-time, in-person, online, or blended, at the student's pace, are completed for several hours, weeks, months, or a year, are prepared in modules, are assessed with or without a final exam, are taken with or without a tutor, are taken with or without prior teaching experience, are accredited and internationally recognized, and cost from $30 to $4,000, determine the type of certification required by your employer before beginning training. The course should be from a reputable institution and meet internationally recognized qualifications. Let's say you wish to teach English to speakers of other languages as soon as possible. What formal and non-formal studies should you take? Earn a bachelor's degree and a TESOL certificate. Many recruiting companies accept any bachelor's degree once you obtain your TESOL certificate. However, to compete in the worldwide TESOL industry, consider earning a TESOL or any English-related bachelor's degree, a TESOL certificate, and a CELTA. By choosing this career path, you have made English your global passport. Enjoy teaching and traveling around the world.